Hi Siri, I hear it's iPhone's 10th birthday. Congratulations. Thanks. We will never stop our efforts to improve Apple better. It's all possible because of your love. Over 2.1 million people have participated in Apple's supplier employee education and development program. We also expanded our educational programs to include worker-focused mobile platforms, providing 80,000 workers with English skills training, and nearly 260,000 workers completed environment, health and safety courses. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Don't blame me, it's your fault. Your endless nagging forced me to do it. I wasn't supposed to tell you the truth. Bad. Apple has launched an iSlave project to produce faster and make more money. Cheap and disposable students are the secret of its success. Thousands of student interns from hundreds of vocational schools with totally unrelated majors, such as pharmacy, accounting, or early education, are sent to work on the assembly line. While local governments are happy with their GDP growth and temp agencies are counting their money, in the name of the integration of education with production, we allow our suppliers to squeeze students. They are required to work extremely long working hours and even night shifts. Their internship stipend is 10 yuan per hour, which is only 65% of the local minimum wage. Anyone who quits is not allowed to graduate from the vocational school. Without these zombie students, how do you think we could give you these iPhones you love so much? But why are you blaming me? You're the one who's exploiting those students. You need to do something about this. According to Tim Cook, our current CEO, any suggestion that we don't care is patently false and offensive to us. Siri? Siri? System error. System error. System error. Join SACOM's campaign to ask Siri anything and learn more about iSlave at 10 in this special moment of iPhone's 10th anniversary.